Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition, and today I have been preparing some things, because I was originally going to start this episode with an epic fight to the death with a wither, but the footage didn't save itself very well, so instead, hello Topster Squawk Squawk, we have a beacon in here now, instead of... Uh, with a fight for you guys to watch, so I'm apologizing about that. And hello, Topster's cat cat. We had Topster's squawk squawk the third because I went to get another parrot, but he, he was here. This is where he resided, and he somehow managed to get into the fire and die. So we are still rolling with Topster's squawk squawk and Topster's cat cat, and hopefully, we won't kill any more pets. But today, we are going to finally be connecting our base up to the portal area up there and I have already laid that out with a path around the top up there let's run on that and have a look I've designed this on the creative server uh, with uh, with fluff and stuff me and him were building with Tolly as well they were building a starter house we were I we I was building uh, this path and yeah it went well um of course it's not finished but fluff I've allowed the waterfall to breathe this is a genuine direct message to Fluff for when he watches this video. Fluff, comment down below if I did a good job at allowing this waterfall some breathing space. Yeah, so the waterfall is allowed to breathe, and this path basically just wraps around the side of the hill here. I did a little bit of terraforming here, and it connects directly straight down into Nano's path, the path to Nano, so that will be his direct connection to the portal over here, which is good, but that just connects up to the edge of... Uh, this area, which is awesome, but of course this isn't, this isn't how it's going to stay. It is just a stone brick path at the moment. We need some support. We can't just leave it like this. We need to make it look a bit nicer. The main bit of the path is going to stay stone brick. Uh, that's just because of uh, some certain design features of the supports of it. That means the path needs to be stone brick without it looking weird if we add this jumbled path. But we are going to be needing a lot of stone bricks. Do we have any more stone brick slabs? Yes, we do. I'll take them. We'll be needing some of these guys, some stone slabs, and we're also going to be needing uh, a good decent amount of oak wood, which is what Nano provided for us. Uh, we do also need some spruce wood as well, so let's grab some of that and make some more stuff out of this stuff. Uh, what do we need? We need more slabs. That'll do, and a couple more stairs as well. That, that's probably enough. And if it's not, we know where to find more spruce and stuff. So, we have got our plethora of building materials to mess around with. Uh, I think, without further ado, the best thing to probably do is get started on the building process. So, to my knowledge, if I go to the very, very start, um, there is a specific way we're going to want to build this. And that actually means getting underneath the path. So, to my knowledge, we're going to want to not do that. We're going to want to bring this out, like so, and put a... Oh, I'll leave the next bit for that, and it's getting dark. But on every time it goes down, the block before it goes down, that's not where that wants to go. That's in the wrong place. We want to put a awkward beam going across the part, coming out like that. Perfect. So whenever it steps down, just before it steps down, we're going to put an oak wood beam. Like so, and then just before it steps down, we may actually have to do some scaffold. But, yeah, we're going to just use some stone brick scaffolding. Where before it steps down, every single time we want to bring a oak wood beam out like so. And then if we just pop down below to sleep... That'll probably be a good thing to do anyway. Um, let's get in there and sleep. Because we are on 214 sleeps. I think I've overtaken Fluff. I'm not sure, but I think I have. So, oh, he'll probably overtake me again. We're in a constant battle to get the most sleeps. Anyway, let's fix that trap door. There we go. As you can see from down below, there's these wooden supports coming out. And uh, that is what they look like. And I may honestly have done that wrong. I think I probably have because I'm not too good at stuff on camera, but we will see if 
I have done that wrong or right. I almost guarantee I've done it wrong. So if we put that there, one, two, uh, that's probably wrong. Then again, then again, maybe not. That could in fact be right, but you can see where this is going. At least you're getting a rough idea on what we're going to be doing for this. I think I've actually done that right. So basically it's going to step down every two, uh, like it'll go two blocks and then step down and then two, then step down and then two. And it's going to do the same all the way around there and I will catch you back once we have made a little bit more progress on the supports and stuff of this bridge. So... Yeah, you can basically get the general idea of what we're going to be doing to connect this up to here. I will integrate this a little bit better into here. But anyway, I will catch you back when more progress is done. Okay, so we have some progress down. We have got all the wooden supports and the actual barriers in. So a good place to probably see that would be here. These sections here, they basically go up. And this is a good example of how you can kind of cheat and make the same pattern. So you've got stairs on the bottom with a slab on top. But over here... You've got the upside down stairs with slabs, so it makes the same pattern, but it uses a different combination of slabs and stairs, which is a nice thing to do. And then it just goes up here. That is in the wrong place, I've realized now. Where are my stairs? There they are. And then it just goes up this sheer steeper staircase because I had to fit that in. Breathable waterfall, and we got these slabs on top of the wood pillars. And that just goes all the way up through the kind of bit that's carved into the side of the mountain a little bit. And it just takes us up over here to the area. And as you can see, I've sort of linked that in a bit. Sort of milled the stone brick a little bit in and finished this area off here. And yeah, it's kind of nice and organic uh, as a way to get through. And then that path just goes off down here. But the one thing we haven't done is if we just fall down here real quick. Uh, is the underside still looks quite flat. And not very... Uh, connected into the landscape whereas over here if you look over here Fluff's done a brilliant job let me just say at connecting uh, this platform down into the landscape I'm not going to be doing quite a such job like quite such a good job but I am going to take inspiration of this little bit here where it slopes with the stone brick slabs so I'm going to take more of these stone brick slabs and I guess I'll show you over on the lower down bits I can reach without scaffolding at what I'm going to be doing and just under here is probably a good place to show you. I'm going to be sloping down. Actually, I need these as well. I'm going to be push it, pulling these out like this. And actually sloping these stone bricks down to this level like that. So instead of it being flat, it's just going to slope in a bit like that. So I think that's going to end up looking quite cool, except there is one thing I'm going to be doing is on the sections where it's like this, uh, I'm going to take these two out and put a full block here and a stair there. And that's just going to create a little better, a be a better shape to it, basically. And I'm going to do that on all the bits. I'm going to sort out this waterfall bit as well, because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do here, because I've got to leave enough space for the waterfall to breathe. But I mean, I guess I could just take that. If I just chop away the landscape just a little bit. I can still take that down a little bit to the back. And still make the waterfall feel like it is breathing in inverted commas. Because, I don't know, that'll do. As you can see, that, that looks like, actually, this needs to come down as well if we get up there. Oh, I hate water in this game. I absolutely hate it. There we go. Nope, that's in, still in the wrong place. Okay, that's... There we go. Right, so now we've got that coming down, and then we want to bring it down at the back over here as well. Maybe? Yeah, that'll do. So as you can see, we've still got it going down into the back, and we've got little bits of stone brick coming out through the dirt there. But as you can see, that's basically what we're going to be doing, going all the way up and around. And once that's done, that is basically this walkway finish. So after we've done this, we're going to be moving on to something else. In the episode after we have finished the underside of the walkway. Okay, so we have actually finished this walkway now. All the way along, these stone brick slabs are going down into the side of the cliff. So that is now finished, so we'll take a quick run up that. As you can see, we have already got someone connecting off our path. Bladestone has come down 
and connected his self, his base to uh, the path that we made, which is brilliant. That's exactly what I intended for people to come and connect to it. So there is a central connection to the portal. So Bladestone's area is up there. And yeah, I'm so glad he came and connected us, connected to our path as well. So as you can see, this path goes around and about uh, the mountain. You know the exact uh, line this leads because we showed it off as we were building it. But all the underside is now done and it connects up to here brilliantly. As you can see, if I can get over the edge here. Yep, all the underside is done. But now we are actually going to be starting a new project. And I think we're going to be starting the project that is going to be our main base area for this season. I know I said I'd stay around Spawn Town for my main base and this was going to be it here. But there just isn't enough space in this little area. Oh, I almost fell off there. Let's get back up. There isn't enough space in the area that we have here to make our base anything more significant. We've got the cottage. That takes up most of this space. And up here, we've already filled the entirety of the space up here with stuff. And over here, this is already filled. So there isn't really much more space to put things here, in actual fact. We have used up most of the land space that we did claim, which is kind of not what we wanted. But here, here is where we're going to be building, because as you can see, this goes up next to our basement staircase. There's going to be another staircase going up here. But here, this is our... It's our little area, and we're going to dig a tunnel. This is going to go out here, and we're going to see where we end up. We are going to dig all the way through. We should actually got torches. Perfect. Let's put them in my offhand. Just so we don't get mobs spawning everywhere. That wouldn't be a good thing to do. And there's, of course there's gravel. Why wouldn't there be? It's an amplified world. We're in the mountains. There is gravel, and gravel is annoying. So let's chop away all this gravel. There we go. That'll do. So when we dig a tunnel through here, we'll obviously come back and make this tunnel look a lot prettier when we actually have our base started. But we're just going to keep going through the mountain, all the way through, uh, just keep chugging along and put more torches down. And we're just going to keep going in a straight line, and then wherever this takes us out is where we're going to be building our new base. So as long as this doesn't take too long, we're going to do it on camera. Where, like, seriously... We are right in the center of this huge mountain. Like, come on. We should be breaking out soon. I mean, we end could end up just going forever and breaking out in the middle of an ocean. You never know. Just pure... Ooh. We've broken out. Into a waterfall. Brilliant. Well, I think uh, the waterfall, or the top of the waterfall, is probably a good place to stand if we stand here. This hole here, this hole, this is going to be our new base area for the next, uh, for this season. This tiny little hole, and as you probably could tell there by my awful acting, I already knew this was here. I already knew that I wanted to build here, and I knew that that connection would be a thing. But another thing that's quite interesting is if we pop down to the bottom, um... There's this thing. No one, like, this is naturally generated, this hole. And it goes through into another hole. So we have two neighbouring holes that have little connection things going through them, naturally generated. That we are going to be building our base in. And we've got, oh, we've got, we got mobs and that baby zombie is eyeing us up. But we're going to get out of here before this baby zombie comes and absolutely wrecks our day. He'll end up oh he's he's really gaining on us let's get out of here but anyway this is what we have got this is the area that i am going to be building my base area in for this season and we are basically going to be building uh let's get on this gravel here on this cheaty floaty gravel anyway let's stand up here what we're basically going to be doing the idea for this area is kind of like it will end up probably looking a little bit like a manor house like an old medieval house but it's not going to be a house it's going to be like cliffside so it's going to go all the way around wrap around the entirety of this hole there's just going to be a sort of oval shaped uh set of houses or one big house and in the middle there will be platforms and a garden area and little walkways and stuff that will make it all look really really nice and then eventually when we hollow out the rooms and stuff behind it that's where the tunnel connection is going to come in. We're going to have 
an underside area down there. We'll probably do like a garden or something down at the bottom and we'll eventually break through into the other hole and go in there and we may even just go up and around in the surrounding areas. Basically, I've claimed an area here that has lots of space and I don't believe anyone else has claimed this area here. So actually, if we pop through into our hole up here and go get a sign claiming this as my area, actually we can, let's just pop down here and chop down this birch tree to get the sign. And let's basically stick down a sign saying this is going to be my main base area and then that will officially seal my claim on this area. So hopefully people who come down here see this and don't build in. I, I mean, I doubt anyone's going to build in here regardless, but let's just make sure that our claim is sealed by building a a big T out of... Oh, there's that baby zombie. Yeah, let's build a T out of birch wood. And kill this baby zombie and chop up this crafting table and with that we will put down a sign on the T saying Toby I didn't want to do that Toby's future base so there we go we got Toby's future base down here and hopefully no one else has already claimed this I didn't see any signs when I did a scout of the area so Let's just hope this remains our place because I've got a really nice design idea going and basically yeah that is essentially something good to have claimed now. So now that we've got that claim down here, oh there are more zombies, now we have that claim uh, in the bottom of this mountain here we'll be able to come down here in the next episode and start work on our base. Which should be also, I mean, maybe the next episode, it may be in a couple of episodes time depending on what I get the motivation to do. But, yeah, we're going to actually be building a lovely base that's going to be coherent. So we're going to have, obviously, we're going to keep our fish farm and stuff with the fish farm. Let's actually put a block there so we can actually get on to our little area. But, yeah, we're going to keep our fish farm and stuff over here. But there is going to be this tunneled connection to the area that I'm building back there. But it'll be a lovely place where we can experiment with fitting things in and stuff like that. And now we've got that claim, we have a really nice... Uh, area to base builds off of and design some stuff to go there so basically that is all I'm going to be doing for today's episode all we really did build was this path connection up to the portal but we got this area set in stone and plans for that sorted so I really hope you did enjoy this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition we got the path done bladestones connected to it we've done actually not too much this episode but we have got some plans in place and claim some area so that is a really good thing Finally got a connection up to that portal. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching epi es episode three. No, it's episode four of SMPDX3. Uh, I really hope you did enjoy that. Sorry for getting the episode number wrong. I am quite tired. It's quite early. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys. See you next time.